this is Eric Vega with GoEngineer Tech Support. In today's quick video, we'll go through automating the flex feature with equations. First, we'll create a sketch on the right plane. And draw a line to represent the area between the two trim planes. We'll add a dimension to keep the line constrained. and dimension the line to be used for the trim planes. Add a line perpendicular to the trim plane line and add the arc starting at the interception of both lines. Close off the angle with another segment and dimension the degrees between these two lines. We'll also want to add the radius of the arc and the arc length. By clicking both endpoints on the arc and the line segment itself. These three clicks are necessary for the arc length dimension. Set the arc length as driven and we'll accept the sketch. To make it easier to manage the use of the dimensions, we'll go ahead and toggle them so they can be seen. By the right clicking the annotations folder in the feature tree and selecting show feature dimensions. We will also want to turn on the dimension names by going to view Hide, Show, and Dimension Names. This will allow us to select the dimensions we need to use when everything starts getting crowded. And to make it a little easier, we'll go ahead and change the name of the arc length by clicking the dimension, going to the left pane, and changing D5 to arc length, arc length. We'll also go ahead and change D3 to bend angle. This angle will represent the angle bend on the pipe. We'll, now we will link dimension D2 to be equal to the arc length. This will make SOLIDWORKS update the distance between the trim planes to be the arc length caused by the bend angle. And the last feature we need to automate the flex tool is the coordinate system. To set the coordinate system, click the rightmost endpoint of the D2 line and make sure the Z axis is pointing down the direction of the pipe. If it does not, use the direction control buttons on the left pane Now let's insert the flex feature itself. We're going to insert feature flex. For the body, we'll go ahead and select the pipe. For trim plane one, we'll select the right side of the D2 line. And for trim plane two, we'll select the left side of the D2 line. For the triad, We'll go ahead and select the coordinate system we created on the right side of the D2 line. We will go ahead and try to accept, but the flex tool does not like to have zero degrees by default. So we will go ahead and set 15 degrees so we have a better visual reference. Now, once you set the angle, make sure that you're bending the right direction. And if you're not, just add a negative sign to the degrees. We'll accept the feature and see the result. The resulting flex angle is called D0. We'll move it down so it's a bit easier to see and change the name to flex angle.
what we'll want to do now is make the flex angle equal to the bend angle so those two parameters are linked now you can set the degree of the bend angle to whatever you'd like and the flex feature will follow this angle make sure you rebuild at least twice so SOLIDWORKS can calculate all of the geometry accordingly go ahead and try different angles to see the output geometry This has been Eric with Go Engineer Tech Support. Thanks for watching.